Blue Vila has been gaining popularity for quite some time, and many of you have asked for a review of the Blue Vila light. Well, you asked, we listened. So today we're diving into our full review of the Blue Vila light countertop reverse osmosis system, including our lab testing for real world contaminant reduction and potential chemical leaching. Spoiler alert, one test result raised a red flag we didn't see coming. Hi, I'm Sarah from BOS Water, and in today's video, we are reviewing the Blue View Alight, a countertop RO system and one of the most requested water filters here on our channel. As always, our review includes professional independent lab testing to evaluate real world contaminant reduction and potential leaching. And as hinted in the intro, one of our results might raise a few eyebrows and We'll get to that in just a second. And of course, we'll also cover everything else. So taste and odor of the filtered water, NSF certifications, usability, wastewater, and so on. But first, a quick heads up, you can find our full analysis of the Blue View Light, including lab reports in our Google Sheets. Now the sheet you're seeing now compares 12 different countertop RO systems, including the Blue View Light, and it also includes all our product links and discount codes. There should be one for the Blue Viewa as well. So definitely check it out if you're thinking of buying and want to save a few bucks while supporting our work. You're going to find that link in the video description below. All right, let's get into the review. First off, the Blue Viewa Light is one of the few countertop ROs and countertop water filters in general that actually looks good. <laughs> Personally, we prefer the blue gray version, but the white model looks nice too. Now, also, the system feels sturdy and well built, and the design is compact, taking up little space on the counter, has a footprint of roughly 10 by 10 inches and stands roughly 14 inches tall. That said, the smaller size might not be ideal for larger households. In fact, Blue Viewer recommends the light specifically for singles and couples, saying their larger RO100 Ropop model is better suited for families, which by the way, we've also reviewed here on the channel. Now, onto our lab testing. When the Blue View Alight arrived at our doorstep, we first had to assemble all the parts and prime the filters. Needless to say, we followed the provided instructions, which are laid out very well. And overall, the setup was pretty straightforward too. So in a nutshell, here's what we had to do. Wash the feed water tank and glass carafe with soap and water, then plug in the unit. Fill the feed water tank with tap water up to the max fill line and place both the tank and the carafe on the unit. Touch the flush button to automatically flush the system. And when the cycle is complete, discard the water from both the tank and the carafe and repeat this flushing process four more times, discarding all of the water each time. Then it's ready for use. Once the system was ready, we collected two water samples, one from our unfiltered tap and one directly dispensed from the system. And we sent both of those to a professional lab and compared the reports to see how the impurity levels in our water changed pre and post filtration. Now, quick disclaimer here, this kind of before and after lab testing isn't an exact science. So there's always a chance of error, cross-contamination or other variables. We also didn't repeat the test. We only tested one Blue View Alight unit, this one right here, under real life conditions using our own tap water. So that means we could only measure the contaminants actually present in our water at the levels they naturally occur. So think of our results as a helpful snapshot, not a final verdict. So your results may vary depending on your water and setup. All right, so here's what we found. The Blue Viewer removed almost all undesirable impurities and contaminants in our tap water. Chlorine, all four disinfection byproducts, copper, barium, zinc, lithium, nitrate, and uranium. Boron was reduced by 67%, not the highest we've seen among our countertop ROs, but still solid. Strontium was reduced by 97%, which is excellent. And fluoride showed a minimum reduction of 86%, leaving only trace amounts, just too little for the lab to quantify. And that puts the Blue View Alight on par with all the other countertop ROs we've tested. And finally, we saw a 94% TDS reduction. So very impressive filtration results overall. But here's the one result that might raise some concern. The lab found methylene chloride in the filtered water at 2.41 parts per billion, while none was detected in the unfiltered tap sample. So this suggests potential leaching. Now keep in mind, 2.41 ppb is still below the strictest health guideline we know of, which is four ppb, and under the EPA's legal limit of five ppb for tap water. So it shouldn't pose a health risk. And if leaching is indeed happening, 
it may very well decrease over time. Still, although not a definite deal breaker, this result did impact our overall rating because 2.41 PPB isn't too far away from four or five PPB and worth keeping an eye on. All right, next let's talk about NSF certifications for contaminant reduction or rather lack of them. So the Blue View Alight doesn't currently have any official certifications yet, but it looks like three are in progress under NSF standard 58 covering TDS, cadmium, and chromium three reduction, which is a start. Beyond that, we did find additional third-party test data showing reduction of PFOA and PFOS, fluoride, arsenic, lead, chlorine, coliform bacteria, and E. coli. However, there are some gaps for things like nitrate or other organics. Plus, the tests were conducted at the start of the filter's lifespan, not the end, which makes the results less reliable long term. On the plus side, the taste and odor of our filtered water were perfect, and we also really enjoyed the light mineral flavor added by the optional remineralization cartridge, which fits directly into the top of the carafe. Side note, since it's optional, we did our lab testing without the cartridge. Okay, let's talk usability. So basically, you just touch any button to activate the display, which we like, by the way, because it's intuitive and the buttons are responsive. From there, you can choose to dispense either a full or half pitcher, then just press the dispensing button. The full carafe holds about 40 ounces, while a half carafe is around 22, but you don't have to use the included carafe. If you'd rather use your own container, just press the button to start or stop the flow manually. That said, we actually like using the carafe. The first, it's made of glass, which we always appreciate, and it's lightweight and easy to handle. And the trade-off, of course, is that 40 ounces isn't a ton of water. Fortunately, refilling doesn't take too long. In our dispensing speed test, it took about one minute and 10 seconds to fill 12 ounces. So including the slight delay before the machine starts pouring, you're looking at around three and a half to four minutes for a full carafe. So not the fastest, but not slow either. And since it stops automatically, you don't need to stand there and babysit the system. Another pro, removing and refilling the one gallon feed water tank is easy. The system will let you know when it's time. And at that point, you just dump all the water in the tank, which is wastewater, refill with fresh tap water and pop the tank back into place. We also like the built-in TDS monitor, which helps track filtration performance over time. And paired with the filter life indicator, it gives you a good sense of when it's time to replace the filters, but more on that in a bit. So we compared the readings from the TDS monitor with both our lab results and handheld TDS meters. And while the numbers weren't perfectly aligned, they were accurate enough to be useful. However, some users complained about their TDS monitors being misleading and essentially under-reporting and that their TDS meters read considerably higher levels. Now, one possible explanation for this is the optional remineralization cartridge, which adds minerals back into the water. And that naturally raises TDS levels after filtration. Another possible explanation is TDS creep, which we did observe on our unit as well, although only to a minor extent. But again, overall, we found the TDS monitor to be reasonably reliable for everyday use. And speaking of the mineral cartridge, so what it does is add healthy minerals into your water, magnesium, zinc, calcium, potassium, and a few others. And this not only improves the taste, but also helps balance the water's alkalinity. And what's especially cool is that the cartridge sits right inside the carafe, giving the water a much longer contact time with the minerals. Now that's different from most RO systems where remineralization happens in line and water only touches the minerals as it flows. But with the Blue View Alight, the water passes through the cartridge during dispensing and stays in contact as long as the carafe is full since the cartridge sits at the top. Now, if you decide to not use the mineral cartridges, you could still use the included glass infuser for adding fruit to flavor your water. And they even throw in a recipe pamphlet for inspiration, which we thought was a fun bonus. However, one thing to know, adding too much fruit can cause the craft to overflow when dispensing a full 40 ounces. During testing, we had to manually stop the dispense to avoid spilling. On the other hand, the mineral cartridge is much smaller and doesn't pose that issue so that it works fine even with a full carafe. Anyway, the craft also has markers to guide your hourly water intake, a nice feature if you're trying to stay on top of your hydration goals. But of course, this works best when just one person is using the pitcher. Before we wrap up day-to-day -day use, here are a few more smaller but still useful features. There's an option to manually flush the Blue View Alight, which can help extend its lifespan. The system also performs automatic back flushing to keep the internal tubes clean. Plus, this might also counter TDS creep and extend filter life. 
And finally, the system makes a little bit of noise, but it didn't bother us at all. Which brings us to filter replacement. So a filter life indicator will let you know when it's time to replace, typically once a year or after about 1,050 gallons of use. The replacement process itself is quick and easy. You just remove the filter cover, twist the old filter and pull it out, and you reverse the process to install a new cartridge. And there's even a little tool included in case your cartridge gets stuck. Oh, and the optional mineral cartridge is rated at six months or 260 gallons. All right, on to our final test, wastewater, which is a thing with any home RO system. As mentioned earlier, the wastewater collects in the feed tank and needs to be discarded before refilling. Now we measured the amount of purified water versus wastewater and calculated a ratio of about one to 0.38. Now that means that for every gallon of clean water, 0.38 gallons are wasted, which is actually one of the better ratios among the 12 countertop RO systems we've tested. What do third-party customers say about the Blue View Alight? Well, overall feedback is very positive, but the most common complaints we came across were about leaking, occasional issues with water taste or odor, and a few malfunctioning units. None of these were widespread, but they did come up often enough to mention. Okay, costs. So Blue View agreed they would provide us with an exclusive 16% discount code for the light system. Now this wasn't fully confirmed at the time of shooting this video, but definitely check our Google sheet before you're making a purchase to see if the code is live. With the discount, the price should land around $290 to $295, which we think is totally reasonable. And it includes a one year warranty. As for ongoing maintenance, Blueview estimates a below average $80 per year if you're replacing filters once annually. But given the limited long-term contaminant testing, replacing filters twice a year might be a safer choice, which would make things a little more expensive. And if you decide to use the optional remineralization cartridges, you're looking at around $136 more per year based on 1,000 gallons consumption. And that's it. So here's a quick summary of the Blue View Alight countertop reverse osmosis system. It performed very well in our lab tests for contaminant reduction, but we did detect potential leaching of methylene chloride. The levels were below health guidelines and may decline over time, but it's still not ideal. The system doesn't have any NSF certifications yet, though three are seemingly in the works. Third-party testing is also somewhat limited. The filtered water tasted and smelled perfectly clean, and the optional mineral cartridge adds a pleasant, light mineral flavor that stays in contact with the water for as long as the crap is full. Usability is a strong point. The Blue View Alight looks good on the countertop, feels high quality, and has a compact footprint. Just note that it's best suited for singles and couples. For larger households, consider the Blue View RO100 Robot, which we've also reviewed. Also for usability, initial setup, day-to-day -day use, and maintenance are straightforward. Two important factors here are the responsive display and built-in TDS monitor. In our wastewater testing, the Blue View Alight performed well with one of the better efficiency ratios among the systems we've tested. Customer feedback overall is very positive with only minor recurring issues. And finally, pricing is reasonable, especially with the discount code. Just keep in mind that total yearly costs could be slightly above average if you change filters more often or use the optional mineral cartridges. All right, we made it. Don't forget to check out our Google Sheet for the full breakdown of the Blue View Alight, plus 11 other countertop RO systems. You'll also find our lab results, product links, and discount codes there, hopefully including one for the Blue View Alight. I'll also drop our Blue View a link and code in the video description and if you have any questions or want to see a specific filter reviewed, let us know in the comments. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.